Hello, I'm Andy Gustafson, one of the product managers here at iSquareFoot, and I'm here to talk about our pre-qualification expiration messaging feature. We've taken direct feedback from our pre-qualification management customers to create enhancements that will further streamline your subcontractor pre-qualification process and increase team productivity, ultimately reducing your project risks. Pre-qualification expiration messaging allows those of you that subscribe to our iSquareFoot Premium Pre-Qualification to track expiration dates on pre-qualification forms, automate expiration reminder messages, and personalize email templates. Let's start by going through the administration preferences here on the Company Preferences tab. Administrators of your company can customize these settings so they fit your company's operations. This first option controls when the form expiration date is updated by the system. Expiration dates can be automatically set one year from the submission date, one year from the approval date, or managed manually. The default option is manually. That means that the expiration date will only be changed when a pre-qualification coordinator changes the date and not triggered automatically by an update to the form. Expiration notifications are the automated reminders sent to your pre-qualification recipients that remind them to update their pre-qualification information. You can control how many days prior to the expiration date the message will be sent in this box. You can add up to three different reminders by clicking on the Add Another Expiration Notification link. You can also choose whether each notification should be sent by default. As you will see later, you can always override these settings on a form-by-form -form basis. This is helpful in the case that you only want to have one reminder sending by default, but may also want to have a second or third reminder for certain companies that may need extra attention. This next option controls who should receive any email replies to the expiration reminder messages. By default, the reply will go to the last prequal coordinator that approved the form. This is helpful if there are separate divisions or offices with a prequal coordinator that are responsible for their own vendors. Alternatively, you can specify a single email address, such as a prequalification distribution group, to forward the replies to. The last option here is to not forward replies. Regardless of which option is selected, you can still find and review the messages sent and any replies on the communication screen, which can be found under the directory menu. That brings us to the expiration reports option. We'll go into the details of the report a little later, but this option will let you control who should receive the monthly pre-qualification expiration summary report. It's set to send to the users on the account that have the ability to approve the forms by default. If you want to include other folks, such as project managers, you can also choose to have the report sent to a list of email addresses that you specify. You can also choose not to receive the report if that is your preference. The expiration date shows here, at the top of the company's pre-qualification form. Users that have the permissions to change the form approval can update the expiration date from this page. We understand that control over this process is important, so even if your preferences are set based on an automatic date, the expiration date can be overridden on a form-by-form -form basis. The pre-qualification management screen has been updated to show the expiration date column and an icon for forms that are past their expiration date or expiring within the next three months. The expiration date is also used to send reminder messages to the pre-qualification recipients. You can set up to three different reminders, each to send different days prior to the expiration date. The reminders are sent using a template that you can customize by going to the Administrations menu and selecting Manage Templates. These reminder messages and any replies are captured in the communication screen. By clicking on the Communication Details button, you can use the filters to find communications from or sent to a specific company or contact. There is also a monthly report that is created that lists the companies that are expiring in the next month or that have recently expired with direct links to the pre-qualification form and a list of the projects the expiring company has been invited to. In this way, your pre-qualification coordinator can see which of the companies with expiring pre-qualification information should be contacted first because of their involvement with an ongoing or an upcoming project. As you can see, by automating reminder messages to your contacts when their pre-qualification information will soon become out of date, the pre-qualification expiration messaging feature has been designed to give you complete control in managing your pre-qualification data and to save you time.